What's up guys, Steven here and welcome to my tutorial on how to install the Forge mod loader for Minecraft. So well, I promised you that because yesterday I had a look at the Flans mod and it's just simply amazing that you can have guns in Minecraft, that you can have planes and other stuff in Minecraft and today I want to show you how to install that. So what you will need is just um, normal Minecraft, doesn't matter which version, so Forge mod loader actually works with different versions. And all, all the download links are down below in the description. So let me quickly show you the websites. So flansmod.com, that's basically the mod we want to install, and Forge Mod Loader, which is the basic program which loads all the mods. And for sure, there are tons of mods for Minecraft, and I'll also showcase them each Monday, so make sure you check it out. Okay, um, that's Minecraft Forge. Now, some mods require an older version of Forge, okay? So make sure that you download the correct version for the mod you need. Now, for instance, um, the Flans mod needs Forge for 1.8. So what you do here is you choose a Minecraft version, and here we have 1.8. If you just want to have the latest, then go with the latest, so you will have to download right over here. What we'll just have to do is, I just have to click it here, then you can go here to show all downloads, and then you just go and grab the latest version. Now, um, here we have the Windows installer. So this tutorial here is for Windows, and um, here's the installer. All you have to do is just left-click it, and it will download yeah, um, the installer file. Then there is some kind of add focus shit so that the developer earns some money. Just ignore that, go here to skip, and download the installer.exe file. All right, so this should be already placed on my desktop. Okay, nope, and that's um, yeah, some different char file. But yeah, um, here's the download, so here we have the Forge mod installer. Okay, so now to run it, just double click that crap, go to run. Then there will be a, a menu, so it's called the mod system installer. And here you go to install client, because you don't run a server, you just want to have the clients, and make sure that that path here is correct. So Minecraft should be installed in your app data roaming folder, so it's usually C, users, your username, App data roaming Minecraft. You can quickly check that if you go here to yeah um, run. You just type here percent app data percent. You hit the enter button. You should be in the roaming folder. Just go all the way down there, and you will find the dot Minecraft folder. And in there, there's all the shit we need. Okay, so make sure that path is correct. Hit the OK button, and it will download and install the libraries. Easy as pie, guys. But just um, make sure. So keep in mind that for different mods, you probably need different versions of the Forge mod loader. So we have here 1.8, so the latest version right now 1.8.9, down to 1.1. And you can install all of them, you just have to create um, yeah, a good profile in Minecraft and choose the correct version you want to run. All right, there we go. So we have now here minecraft.exe. First of all, we'll just um, run it, and I can quickly show you um, how to run the Forge mod loader. And after that, I will show you how to insert content packs, or actually mods like Flans mod and the content packs um, for the Flans mod. Okay, I just have to download the runtime because it didn't run Minecraft for a very long time, and I just have it exe on my desktop. But basically, your Minecraft should start up a little bit faster. Okay, so let's just wait a bit. And there we go. So setting up runtime. Right, right, guys. We're here in the Minecraft launcher, latest version. What you will do is you will create a new profile. So go all the way down here to the left bottom corner. There you will see create new profile. Now give it a name. So you can basically call it Forge 1.8 or something like that. And now you have to make sure that you go here down to use version. You click the arrow here. And now you should see here release 1.8 Forge. So it depends which Forge version you install. So you can see you have Forge for 1.8.9 and for 1.8. If you want to run the 1.8 version, you just have to go here to 1.8. Um, yeah, choose it, so make sure it's um, yeah, ticked or selected here. And the rest should be like here. So you could also have your um, JVM argument, argument, sorry, like for instance extended memory or all that. You just go here to save profile right now. And now you have to choose the Forge profile. And now you hit the play button. What it will do, it will just start Forge. You should see a different loading screen right now, so just wait a bit. And there we go, so it's loading all the mods you have, for instance, in the mod folder. I will now quickly show you how to do that. So it's basically now loading um, Flans mod and all the resources for it. So by default, you don't have any mods installed. So Forge mod loader is only the tool to play all the crap, but you need to download the mods separately. Okay, so we have to go back to the Minecraft folder. 
As I've told you, you can, for instance, on Windows 10 or Windows 8, you press the Windows button and the R button to get that run window. And here you just type percent app data percent, okay? This will bring you to the roaming folder. In there, you will find the .minecraft folder. And now you should see here a folder called mods. So I have here the flans mod inside. So if you check out, for instance, the flans mod, so I showed you the website, it's right over here. It's flansmod.com, link down below in the description, make sure you check it out. You can go here to download and install and just download here the latest version. As you can see, this is only available for Minecraft 1.8. Anything um, above that, like 1.8.9, and also the latest version of um, Forge Mod Load is not compatible. All right, so you just go and download that crap. So this should actually be a zip file, if I remember this correctly. And yeah, all the links are usually AdFly links that they earn some money. And you will get a zip file, okay? What you have to do now is you have to extract that zip file. If you've never done it before, you need WinRAR. It's an unzipping program. You can find also a link down below in the description. And after you've installed that crap, um, the zip file will just look like a book, okay? So like this. What you can do right now is you just right click it and you go to extract files here. This will give you all the folders, for instance, right now on the desktop. So in there, you should find the flan um, folder and the mods folder. The readme is not really useful, so basically this just tells you what you have to do. So also there's an installation tutorial here inside. Okay, so you will just now mark, for instance, mods and flan, so everything which was here inside. You go to copy, you go to your .minecraft folder, and you just place it here in your .minecraft folder, okay? What this will do is, it will just um, get a flans mod char into your mods folder. If you have mods, so if you download other mods, which are just a char file, you have to drop the char file into the mods folder. Easy as pie. If there are any other folders, make sure you drop them in here. Okay, um, this is how it works. So in the flan folder here, for instance, you have your content packs. So for instance, the flans mod is right now in the forge mod loader, so it gets loaded. But this mod has to load content packs, so modded stuff. And content packs can be downloaded here. Oh, sorry, I have to go back here to the Flans mod web page um, from content packs. Then here you can see, for instance, the modern weapon pack, um, simple parts pack. This is definitely needed. Otherwise, if you try to spawn a vehicle, um, it will actually crash the game. So you download the simple parts pack, for instance, modern weapons pack and all the other crap. There are really cool things, World War II package, different tanks, Titan pack, future pack, even nerf crap, so probably you have such a gun in real life, you can play it in Minecraft too. So what you will do is you just um, download the crap you want to install, like for instance the Modern Warfare content, and this is usually a zip or a char.zip file. And what you have to do is you just drop it into the flan folder, um, will get replaced here, and if it's not loading the pack, you have to rename it, for instance, to .char only. So you can see there's a .char.zip file, and here's a .char file. So if you have problems that doesn't load up, you just right-click the shit, you delete the .zip crap, and it will just load up the char, okay? So this is how it works, and after you've started Minecraft, you should be able to yeah, um, check out all the mods. So you always have to make sure you run the correct profile. This is one of the most common um, mistakes. So if you load a different profile, it won't load up Forge Mod Loader. Also make sure you hit the Save button. And yeah, just wait. So if you see that screen, you um, have already won. So this is how it looks like. Just wait a bit. We're now here in the game. What's different right now is in the left bottom corner, you can now see something like a status. It shows you how many mods are loaded and how many mods are active. If you go here now to mods, then you can see here, for instance, like which are active, Minecraft Coder Pack, Mod Loader, Forge, Flans Mod, and all that. Okay, guys, that's that. Sorry, that's it. So this is how you install that crap. For sure, you can also download different maps. Just drop them into your worlds folder. And they're really, really cool maps. So there's something like Nazi zombies from Call of Duty. So they build pretty cool maps, also World War II Battlefield. And make sure you check it out, guys. Flans mod is really amazing. If you want to see like a showcase of this mod, there's a video on my channel and there will be a link down below in the description. Now, thanks for watching this tutorial. It's easy as pie. Just make sure you check out the links down below and see you very soon in the next tutorial on Minecraft Monday. Bye bye.